Over the past few days, people have been panicking as Bitcoin has crashed down to levels that we haven't seen since just a few days ago. As this article by Coindesk says, Binance has resumed Bitcoin withdrawals after a second pause. And it looks like Binance might actually be moving to the Lightning Network, making it possible for people to transfer Bitcoin for just pennies. Everybody that's panicking because of this Bitcoin dip is just chicken and they really don't know what's going on. And let me tell you why I'm more excited about cryptocurrency than I have been in a really long time. This might be the narrative that drives the next bull market and because you're watching this video, you might be one of the millionaires that gets minted. This is why you subscribe to this channel, so stick around until the end of the video because if you click away, you might regret it later. This might even be the most important video that I've ever made, but stick with me because I'm kind of an idiot and this is a really complicated subject. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you know something that I don't know. Now let's get started. Surely you've already heard of ERC20 tokens, and if you don't really know what they are, then basically they're what makes it possible for NFTs and ICOs and stuff like that to be possible on the Ethereum blockchain. And now there's a similar protocol for Bitcoin called the BRC20 token, and it's basically the same thing but for Bitcoin. It was created by this guy Domo at Domo Data on Twitter back in about January. And since then, the total market cap for all of the BRC20 tokens has risen to $725 million. This is really significant, but this is nothing compared to the total market cap of all cryptocurrencies, and it's really still very early for this technology. The number one BRC20 token is called Ordi, and it only has a market cap of $411 million at the time of recording. These tokens aren't even listed on CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko yet, but if it was to get up into the top 10, for example, if it was to reach the same market cap as Solana, then it would have to get up to the market cap of $8 billion, which means that it could even have like a 16 or 17x left in it. I'm not saying that it's going to get up into the ranks of the top 10 cryptocurrencies of all cryptos by market cap, but with the BRC20 market cap reaching a total high of $848 million, and the total market cap of ERC-20 being $159 billion, it looks to me like this thing probably still has some room left to grow. One day, people are going to be jealous of you because you got into Bitcoin before there was even smart contracts or BRC-20 tokens on the project. This could be a turning point for the whole cryptocurrency industry, and I'm really excited to see what this next bull run is going to bring. Right now, the most popular place to buy some BRC-20 tokens is on Uniset.io, and if you go to the home page right here, you'll see up in the right hand corner that there's a download button. And if you click on that, then you can download your own Unisat wallet and upload some Bitcoin into there and get started on some trading. First though, unfortunately, you do have to get 20 points here to enter the marketplace. And that means that you basically have to mint a few coins. If you don't want to pay the gas fees and mint a bunch of coins because it is really confusing, then you can go over here to this other website which is called ordinalswallet.com. And if you go up in the right hand corner, when you first get to this website, you're going to see a similar button that says download and you're going to download a wallet. And then if you upload some Bitcoin into there, then you can get started trading right away and you don't even have to get any kind of points or mint any coins. If you click on the BRC20 tab up here, you can see all of the BRC20 tokens listed. A lot of these things don't work. Like right now I was trying to search for something earlier and it really wasn't working very well. Like right now, it looks like it's doing something because it keeps refreshing this, but PISA isn't coming to the top of the list. With already being the first BRC20 token, I think it's going to be really popular. And as you can see, Pepe is also really at the top of the list. This doesn't go by market cap, though. As you can see, it's going by seven-day volume. And Pepe does have the second most volume, and I'm not sure if it's actually related to the Pepe that was pumping on ERC20 tokens. However, there is Oshi sitting here in the next place position, and this is supposed to be pretty much like Uniswap for BRC20, but it's obviously not developed yet, and there is no listings for people to buy it right now. So for some of these, you're actually going to have to go over here to Unisat because stuff like Oshi is probably going to be more readily available on Unisat. It is the most popular website for people to trade BRC20 tokens, and for now, a lot of tokens aren't really available on any other websites. If you want to look for popular BRC20 projects or maybe even some mints that might be coming out soon that you can get in on, then you can go up here to the Discord link up here for Unisat and click on that because they've got a really good page for shilling where it looks like a lot of people are talking about some projects over here that might be popping off. 
right now there's not a lot of places for you to find out information like this because it's just a really new technology and not a lot of people are talking about it. I was trying to research videos on YouTube and there just wasn't even a lot of videos on YouTube about it. So I figured I would try to make the most extensive and comprehensive guide, I guess you could say, on this topic because there really isn't a lot of good information out there. So if you appreciate it, hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you do find a mint that you want to get in on, then that would probably be a good way for you to get 20 points over here on Unisat, I mean. And it also might be a really good way to get in on a project before it absolutely explodes because you're not going to have to buy it from somebody else and you really only have to pay gas fees, which isn't really gas fees, it's just transaction fees and those are kind of high right now on Bitcoin. But if you do pay the transaction fees, then you get to mint some coins and then if it does end up exploding, then you basically got in on the ground floor. There's a lot of really great opportunities here, I think. I'm not sure which coins are going to be really big, and it doesn't look like any of them have any real utility yet. A lot of them are talking about things that they want to do and what kind of projects they want to be, but for now, it looks like mostly just memes are exploding. I don't have 20 points, so I can't trade over here on Unisat, but luckily, it does have a view-only button here, and you can go in here and see what you're going to be looking at to see if you can actually afford any of these things. Unfortunately, they don't. it doesn't work like a regular exchange where you can just go in and put however much you want and then just buy it on a market buy or a limit buy or something like that. It's more like NFTs where there's a block that's listed and you have to buy all of them that are within this block. Right here we have the listings for Ordi and as you can see this first number right here is how many Ordi you're going to be buying. The next number down here saying 70,000 sats per Ordi is obviously how much each Ordi is going to cost. And if you take 100 times 70,000, then you get 7 million sats. And that's how much it's going to cost for you to buy all 100 of these Ordi. Luckily, you don't have to do the math right here because it does list it as $1,936.29. But if you're using Ordinal's wallet and you go look at their listings of BRC20 tokens, you can click on Ordi and it will take you to the listings. But right now, I think the website actually might be down because there's no listings for this, and there usually are some. I was going to show you how it doesn't actually tell you the price in dollars, and you have to do a little bit of math. So there are some positives and some negatives for each of these websites, with already not having quite as much information and not being able to do mints as far as I can tell. But Unisat makes you have to do some mints or somehow get 20 points before you can actually access the marketplace. Either way, Unisat is still in beta and the marketplace is just an experimental test. So this is really a very early step in this technology. And I think that this is going to be a really great opportunity because like I said, this could be the thing that pu pushes the narrative of the next bull market and sends everything back to the moon. Just imagine if you could have gotten in on the very first CryptoPunks or something like that on the ERC-20 protocol. You could have ridden the market up for a thousand X return or something like that in the last bull market, and you would have been made possibly even a hundred millionaire. Just putting in a thousand dollars could have made you a millionaire, and that might be what kind of a future we're looking forward to for these BRC20 tokens in the next bull market. A lot of people are really skeptical about this technology because of stuff like this, where Binance had to resume Bitcoin withdrawals because they had to pause it due to all of the high gas fees and because gas fees are super high right now and it doesn't look like they're going to be coming down anytime soon. Right now, however, all of these ordinals or BRC20 tokens look like they're actually on the main blockchain for Bitcoin, and if they do move them over to the Lightning Network or start to mint some on the Lightning Network, then I think that's going to bring the gas fees down and it's going to make it accessible for a lot more people. Alternatively, there might be a hard fork, and if that happens, then you might be able to get basically a clone where you're going to have coins from the original Bitcoin blockchain, and then you'll be able to ha have some automatic coins on the new blockchain where you'll be able to interact with BRC20. But regardless of how the Bitcoin maxis come to terms with this new technology, I think it's just a win-win for all of us who are get invested early, even when everybody else is still skeptical. Pretty soon, these websites are going to look a lot better, and they're not going to have these barriers to entry like making you get 20 points or mint some kind of coin so that you can enter the marketplace. And whenever that happens and this becomes more of a mainstream and more streamlined process, then I think this is going to absolutely explode. And by that time, a lot of the major gains are going to be already had. This new technology is really exciting and I can't wait to see what kind of new mints I can get in on. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if you have any BRC20 projects that you've heard of that might be promising. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is a Bisu. He's named after one of the seven lucky gods of Japan. According to legend, he will bring wealth and prosperity to anybody who evokes his name. So don't forget to write his name in the comments or you'll bring dishonor to your whole portfolio. And check out this video right here. Say goodbye, Abisu.